am more than happy to turn this case over to anyone at this firm who has more criminal defense experience than I do. Hmm? Until then, this is my case. Swaying public opinion and selecting the right people are the two things we need to be focusing on right now. The jurors make all the difference. Mm. Well, welcome back to GMA. Our next guest plays the fearless defense attorney, Jack Stewart, in the hit Hulu series, Reasonable Doubt, produced by Kerry Washington. It's Emmy Yati Coronaldi. Thanks so much for welcome. being with us. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. First, how was so your Thanksgiving? It was wonderful. You know, I had it just with, with my family, you know, baby girl and dog and husband. It was really, really wonderful. I cooked. You know, and I wasn't yeah. sure. I'm like, how am I going to be able to cook it and, and make it? But it was perfect. Oh, you yeah. do it all. Do it all. Thank you. Don't we? <laughs> yes, we do. We, we do. do. Uh, so you said that this is your dream role, and you manifested working with Carrie Washington. A picture of her was on your vision board yes. 15 years ago, like really manifested. Yes, and it was a surprise to me. You know, I had always looked for the vision board. I couldn't find it. And then I found it a few months ago, and lo and behold, there is Carrie's face oh right gosh. in between Clint Eastwood and Maya Angelou. Wow. And so I took a picture, I said, Carrie, who knew that, you know, this was gonna be wow. the case? So, you know, I really believe in putting things out there and manifesting them, and this is one of those moments. For me. Absolutely. They, they know manifesting is my thing. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jan Janae's all on board with there that, for sure. <laughs> but you guys, I understand, did I hear this right? You actually wanted to be a lawyer when you were in high school? I did, I did. I thought that was the route I was gonna take. I love just the power, you know, the control in the courtroom. Um, and my girlfriend and I, we had it all planned out. It was gonna be Cornaldi and Sweeney Incorporated. Uh, that was the plan. I like that. But thankfully, I realized before graduating, you just like the drama in the court. You like the suits, you know, you don't really want to go to law school and do the whole thing. And what she did, she went on to become a lawyer. So okay. wow. it worked out perfectly. And you're playing a lawyer on TV. And it's exactly. full circle. Yes. It's full circle. So, so this show just wrapped its first season. It Why did. do you think it's so special? This show is so special for really a lot of reasons, but one is because of people behind the scenes. You know, you have Kerry Washington, you have Larry Wilmore, um, you have Ramla Muhammad. The show is loosely based on um, uh, Sean Holly, who is a powerful criminal defense attorney in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. And so it's just a, a dynamic, smart, you know, group of people, you know, who've come together to create the show. And Ramla, who, you know, is, is the writer, she has written a woman in Jax who is powerful, you know, who is driven and all these things, but she's also very flawed, you know? So to have a black woman at the center of this kind of story, um, being able to live in all of her complexities, you know, is just really something we don't see all of the time. We get to see the messiness and all the frayed edges. So that's what makes it special for me. And it's cool because obviously Carrie Washington brought us Olivia Pope yes. and, and then we had Annalise Keating. Yes. And so to see this yes. new role. It's a continuation. Yeah, so, this, so season one ending leaves viewers wanting more. For season two, where would you want to see Jax go? Ooh, you know, people will learn, you know, in watching season one that Jax goes on a journey. You know, when we first meet her, we get to see this woman who's um, at a point in her life where she has to kind of deal with some things that she wasn't quite ready to, you know. So I would love for Jax to um, kind of get a chance to do some of that inner work and see how that pans out for her to see how she's able to then still navigate her career, you know, and her personal life, you know, having done some of the work that she probably was not anticipating having to do. We are all on a journey. We are. We? Aren't we? <laughs> That's yeah, a part do of we it. Have a second? What are you manifesting now? You know a lot of things. I am always manifesting, always. And the key about that is you can't always tell people what you're manifesting at the moment. You got to leave mm -hmm. it. That's between okay. you and the Lord, and just leave it right there. I feel it. You know? See, I, I think that's a Janae. That's that's the trick there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's something I'm manifesting right now, and I've been the putting it out for everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. That's right. We'll, we'll see. If, we won't say it out loud. Love love it. Yeah. The whole world. We all know what manifesting. Don't say it. Right. <laughs> it's so great talking to you. Congratulations. Yeah. Yes. Well, yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> and you can stream all the episodes of Reasonable Doubt right now on Hulu. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.